Welcome everybody back to another video and today we are back in Stormworks. This is episode 8 of our Korea mode um, world. We are on our tanker that we built, uh, we, um, there's some more upgrades to in the last episode. Uh, we're going to be working on it some more today. In the last episode we kind of built the main superstructure and put in these tanks. And today we're going to be finding out if the, the boat can float with all of these tanks filled. filled. So yeah, let's get into the workbench. And first of all, I think I'm going to add some railings to it. Because we haven't got any railings um, around the side. So let's get some corner ones. Um, do I want to use? I might. I might use the curved ones. I think that might be better. Obviously the straight ones, ends, and middles. Cool. So they're gonna start. I think I'm gonna delete this because this seems kind of in the way. And that, and we'll have them kind of coming off here. Have them turn around there. Then attach these. Now, I'm not in... T let's get... Oh, sugar. I haven't got symmetry mode on. Let's get symmetry mode on. Let's delete all of these again. And that. Get the blocks. These ones. There. Then we're going to get the railings. And I'm going to put um, there, I'm going to put the middle ones at every bit in the middle. So there, 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 uh, there, um, there, and there, there. Okay, let me go around doing these. Things. So all of the little support pillars are in, so we just need to join them up. Uh, I'm not, I, I couldn't use the curved bits uh, here. Uh, they weren't, they, it wasn't long enough. Um, this. Come on, come on, it's not working. Come on. Won't get into place. Still won't get into place. And that's why that's the wrong piece. Do I need one of these then? I must do. Yeah. And then straight all the way down to there. I might actually put a... Actually, no, I'm just going to leave it. There we go. Let's spawn that in. jump on yeah I, need, I would have flung off then yeah I like those I like this bit as well if you have a look around the back with this bit yep there's plenty of space to walk around and this is obviously if we need to get off the back oh yeah like I just did oh yeah there's a propeller cool uh, I did say I was gonna widen these make them higher so they're not so precarious. Uh, I might put those on the wall, actually. Yeah, let's just like that. There we go. Cool. I might actually give it a quick paint job as well. So, around there, I reckon, should be red. And that should all be blue. So, red all the way along. All the way. Also, comment um, colour theme suggestions of what we should do. I'm just going to paint the bottom bit. So, oh my god, we're going to go all the way around. Well, I'm not going to um, plain fill it because it might paint something I don't want it to paint inside. Yeah, I would not want it to do that. All the way around to the front. 
There we go. Okay, I'll paint all of this and then we'll decide what we're going to do next. So, I finished painting the undercoat. Uh, I've painted the propeller gold. Check it, I've not missed any. I did have to use plain fill because it would have just taken ages. But I don't think it's painted too much of the interior. Oh, yeah, okay. I have to paint that. Quickly. Uh, sugar. Um, oh, come on. Quickly paint all of this. Cool, there we go. Now, I might paint this top bit, like, a dark, either a dark grey. See, why is it painted that? I didn't want it to paint that. So, yeah, either a dark grey or a black. I don't know. Leave your suggestions in the comments, comment section. Uh, I'm going to go for grey for now. But I'm not sure. I might change it. Also, my symmetry mode is glitching out. It's not doing it, painting the things I'm asking it to. Right, paint. Uh, I'm going to paint across there. Should I give it like a white stripe? Like, like that. I don't know. That, that, all I know is that this needs to be white like that. There we go. So now I'm going to see if Ashley floats um, fully loaded. Which it could be a bad idea. Well, it costs money to paint. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought it... Uh, oh, yeah, the tanks are a bit... Oh, well, the tanks are the tanks. We're never going to see them. Oh, and every one as well. Come on. And there. Make sure they're all set to diesel... Uh, di not diesel. Uh, Seawater, so we don't have to charge. Cool, now we can spawn it in and see if it actually floats. Uh, it does indeed float, but we're, yeah, we're definitely going to need some ballast tanks for the front, or maybe we just put, like, some cabins and batteries in the front. Oh, that was a smart idea. Yeah, so maybe that's where the cabins go in the front. Oh, look, I've missed this whole back section. There we go. Cool. That is nice. Uh, I don't. Do I want to paint these railings like a very slight grey? Yeah, I might want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, it's all painted up. Oh, the railings are. Uh, now I want to do um the color of the deck but i'll leave that up to you guys also comment of what color we should have this and the railings i'm just doing it as a just to be done so i can have a look but now i think i'm gonna focus a little bit um on in the superstructure and what it's gonna look like so i think i'm actually gonna work down in here get some important stuff that we might need um, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to need to put in here yet, but I am definitely going to move these because these do not look good. Wait, is that, is that facing the right way? I think that is, isn't it? No, that's facing the wrong way. There we go. And then there. Here we go. Now it's equal. Yeah. So I'm going to turn symmetry mode off for this. So here, um, I'm not sure because 
<laughs> I kind of want to make it have like a kitchen and things, but you don't need that in survival, of course. So, here I think we can have some sort of like a little control panel, maybe. Um, like a little circuit breaker room or something. Or, I'm not sure. Uh, we could have... We could definitely have something in here, but I kind of want to have all the control panels up here. So, I guess in here we can have, like, a little... Um, some medical things. Yeah, we can have some medical things. So, let's get some of those. Um... To get some med kits for me. Uh, we'll get a, we'll get a defibrillator. I'm gonna get um, some welding torches because just in case. An empty one. Uh, I want the defibrillator. Wherever that's gone. Where is it? There. Uh, I want a flashlight. I think flashlight binoculars night vision and normal ones flares and fire extinguisher cool uh, that's a lot of uh that's a lot of equipment so um i guess we can have these fire extinguishers like dotted around the place um so we'll have one in here Then I want two welding torches, two underwater welding torches, because this is quite a big boat. An empty one here. Um, then maybe here in the middle we can have some med kits. We might be able to, we'll be able to get these from outside as well, which is kind of useful and kind of unrealistic. Some there. That's probably all we'll need because it's only us. Um, we'll get a couple of flares. Just in case. I don't really want to have to use them. But maybe we have to. There we go. Um, we need... So we'll get some of those. What can we get up there? We'll get... I think we're going to have um, this kind of equipment on this side. So we'll have binoculars, night vision ones, and a flashlight. Uh, come on. Flashlight. There it is. I've lost it again. Ah, oh dear. Flashlight. Ah, oh, kind of stuff. There we go. I kind of feel like we should have something there because it's missing. Uh, um, an empty one. Yeah. So we'll have two empty ones. Cool. Okay, let's just spawn that and see what that's going to look like. Let's hope I can jump on. Yeah. So yeah, we can grab like first aid kits and things out the side. So yeah, we've got a little equipment station, we can see out all of this stuff. Uh, over this side I'm not entirely sure. I think I will have a kitchen here, just to fill the space. Here, I'm uh, not quite sure yet. We could have like a medical bed, and we could have like a little seating area. I guess if we do ever have to carry some people, it would be kind of useful to have some seats. My thing is completely empty though, so I'm going to sort my inventory for what we're going to be building next. So I've got all the stuff uh, I need for building this little seating area. So let's just put it in. So let's just go up to there. Across like that. Across like that. Cool, let's get the seats. And we're just going to do like that, that, that. Oh, of course it's... Of course it's not even. I guess we'll just have a gap in between here. Might be a bit nicer. Cool. And then on this side as well. Come on, there. 
there, there, there. Press one. Like that. Cool. Just like this. And then I guess we can go up. Start on the edge yet. Yeah. Like that, like that. And then put some fluid pot edges for some decoration. Which is costing us money. But it needs to look good. And we actually haven't got a lot of money, so I might have to do a trip with a mini tanker just to get enough to finish this thing. Cool. That's like that. Then I'm gonna gonna paint it like a kind of reddy colour all the way down on the seats like this all the way across then for the seats I might go for a bit of like this bit of the seat I might just go for a bit of a dark grey kind of fits the scene Then obviously back here. Uh, here we go. Uh, I need to move this up. Just get rid of that. Get this, uh, that colour. Like that, then paint that colour. Like that. There we go. Not the biggest thing but can fit eight people if we ever need to. You never know, I might need to do, do an, maybe there's like a mission that it just happens to be in the same place. We could just stick them on the deck or in here, they don't really need seats. But yeah, it's just kind of something nice to have, just have it be here. Uh, I need to add some lights next, don't I? Yeah, and this is where our, our pumping house is going to be. I think I might want to raise those windows by one. Also, we could get some fluid ports, like, above each one of those, just to make it look um, like they're actually being used. So, yeah, we could just get fluid ports all the way. No, no, they have got, oh, yeah, they've got um, pipes on the back of them. Oh, that's annoying. We could have them across there, though. How would that look? That wouldn't look bad, would it? Just for some extra detail. Yep. Uh, I could put these things like that as roof liners. Yeah, that could make it look a bit cleaner. Cool. Maybe across this one as well. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Right. Um, now I need to add some lights, don't I? Oh yeah, we need some heaters. Let's get some heaters in. Um... Uh, let's turn symmetry mode on for this. Symmetry. Heaters. Heaters. Um, I, I'm planning on taking this thing up to the Arctic, so definitely going to keep some heaters in. Uh, up here, we're not focusing on that at the minute. Yeah, I think that should do. Let's add some lights to these areas we've just done then. We don't need any RB RGB lights, or oh, we might do. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if we put a party vote, that could be fun. <laughs> so, um... Can I actually put lights? Yeah. Okay, I was just checking I could. So I'm going to have light there, uh, light there, and light there. Cool. Uh, I think these are all going to be on player sensors, just because it makes it easier easier to like not like don't forget to like turn them off or anything nah pretty sensitive trying to move around in here um there and there so now i think i'm going to add uh the buttons in to turn on every all of this stuff so i'm going to put button in there for the heaters on this side 
Um, just here for this one. Like that for these heaters. Uh, for the lights, um, I guess we could have another switch just on here. Oh, no, not having that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that could be cool. So let's get a player sensor. Oh, they're 50. They're quite expensive. So let's get some of these in. Well, we do we only need... Yeah, we only need one, really, don't we? We'll just put it there. I don't want several lights. I don't want them to be on different things. So then I just connect the that to connect to all of these lights. Then we need to add some batteries actually to get it get everything in this thing powered. All oh no, not that. Uh, that's all the lights. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all the lights. Cool, so let's get some batteries now. We're going to put them in the front. How much are these? 10,000. Gee, that's a hurt. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to put two of them. Symmetry. Fairly, f yeah, quite far forward. So right at the front. As close as I can get them. So, there. So that's just kind of in the way. So we'll just have them stacked on top of each other. There. No, go on. There and. Oh, what? No, oh, let me put them. There we go. on top there get rid of that cool batteries um oh, there's, oh yeah they're right by the uh, electric motors of these so i want some circuit breakers actually uh, in the main control panel, but we won't do that. So we've got the batteries in. Let's just, yeah, that's definitely helping uh, helping it balance out. Maybe a deal too much actually. Those batteries are heavy. Yeah, but I guess we're gonna have engines and things. Oh wait, have we still got the spawners in? Oh, I bet we still got the spawners in. Yeah, that's really level then. That's like a really nice height as well. Yeah. Very nice and level. It's not too low in the water, which is good. Cool, let's just jump on board. Uh, I might just um, connect a, like a little dummy battery just so we can uh, test that everything's working in here. Got these for the heaters. Need to label those. This little seating area. Cool, got some medkits. My flashlight is dead, so I could just change it. Then we can go upstairs. Oh yeah, upstairs doesn't have a roof currently. <laughs> Yay! Anyway, let's return into the workbench. Um, yeah, let's just get that little batch, that little tiny battery, just for testing, testing whether they work or not. So I just want to make sure that I've wired it up correctly. Because we, we, we want to set, we wouldn't want to set out and then just have nothing working. None of these lights or anything working. Yep. Spawn that in. Let's go check they work. Yeah, I haven't set the distance for them to come. Oh, they've come on a bit, tiny bit too early. But yeah. Like if they were if I'm here I don't know how, how wide is this probably they're probably only teach me around three meters but yeah this is very nice and bright in here uh, I do need to get some in here oh yeah but they're closed when you're in oh all oh, right okay I need to put it on a circle I need to set that player sensor yeah 
and maybe 3.75 meters. We'll try that. Oh. Okay, now they don't turn when we when we walk in. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty much perfect. And I want to go in here. They shouldn't turn. Oh, they still turn off when I'm in here though. Oh, I'm in a different room. Yeah, that's why. So they are still on when I'm upstairs though, which is a bit annoying. So is there another setting it can go on? No. So maybe we just set it like that, then spawn it. See what this is like now. Shouldn't detect me here. And as soon as I walk in, yeah, it should. Right. And they go off here. Okay. But if I go upstairs, are they they turn on? Are they. Yeah, they turn on. I don't know. Maybe we will hope just have a couple of different ones. I don't know. But, because if I go in here, it's too far away. Maybe we just have them on a light switch then. Or maybe we just have um, their own player sensor for the other lights. So, let's grab that. And we'll just put one uh, around in the middle there. Yep, yeah, there. And we'll just connect this to these. So that and that one. There we go, that fixes most problems. And make sure that they're detected like uh, 150. Okay, spawn Adam. Check it's all working. So they do. Well, oh, they don't come on. Okay. So we walk in here, these ones come on. We walk in here. Oh, these ones come off again. Okay, they need to be set a bit bigger. Yeah, this one definitely needs to be set a bit bigger. Then you just walk in here and then, okay. So maybe it needs to be set around two meters. Trial and error. Let's go 250. Spawn it in. Hopefully this is good now. So you walk in here, yep. Yeah, and these, yeah, okay, that's pretty much perfect. And then there's one turn off there when you're in here. Yeah, so you don't... Right, so maximum electricity efficiency. And then when you walk up here, they should all go off. Yeah, now they're all off. Oh, I can't go into third person, which is annoying. But when you're just in here, and you're not particularly in there. Or if you're doing something over here. Yeah, okay. Cool, I can erase that battery now. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start working on the kitchen now. So, yeah, let me get my inventory sorted for that. So, yeah, I've got my inventory all ready to have the kitchen. I think I'm going to have it the same width of the stairs. So, starting around or there, we'll go up four, I think. This door's in the way. I'm going to move these doors over by a couple. There we go. So, not right on the very edge. Just like that. There we go. So, so you walk in, yeah, and you're a bit more in the middle. Oh wait, don't want to see which mode on. That can just go to there. That up there. I'm going to spawn it in real quick just to check that it's not too high. That four blocks is too high. Or do I need to go down one? Uh, I might want to go down one. Uh, do I want to go down one? I don't know. That seems quite high. Yeah, let's go down one. I think. 
then that's going to be the same height as that and then that's quite low I think I don't know let's try three and if it's too low then we'll just have to go with four see that seems really low like a cupboard then or a little table Actually, yeah, that's probably around right, isn't it? Yeah, that's better than four. So, we're going to need oven, sink, hob, all of that stuff. I cannot get my camera view ready. Right. Here we go. So, first of all, we need a sink. So, we'll put the sink there. Some cupboards and things. Oven can go, like, there. Hob can go on here. I'm just going to paint the hob uh, on with like a black paint. The oven um, will actually be not functioning, but should look pretty good. I'm going to use paintable indicators as the uh, act as like heat. So you just paint and you just go with this orangey colour. And you see it starts to oh I need to I need to undo all of that. Replace colour. There you go. Then you go that colour. Nope. As if there we go. This is a. Uh, Why is this so difficult? There we go. I should do yeah, we go. So we'll say the same now. All the way along. Like this. All the way. So we can fit it all in. I'll just have this turn on with a button. I might do the hob the same as this rather than just with paint. That's getting quite bright on my screen now, because yeah, lovely. Um here we go. And I guess I'll get some on here. So there, 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 there. Five. Uh, we'll get a window to cover up that. Three by two dark grey I normally go for. Because I think black looks a bit too, is too much, I think. Yeah. I also need to paint this. Uh, I think I'm going to paint this in the interior black. Come on. So hard. Just to click every single thing. And then I need to do the roof. Come on. Nice. Uh, now we need to go back to additive. Red. No, nope, red. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I keep forgetting I used to do it. Um, like this. There you go. There you go. There you go, there you go. Additive, uh, like a bit of a mixture we could go for. Go, I don't know, we could just do this. And then we could go an inner circle, possibly. It just looks like pink, that does. Yeah, that just looks pink. Yeah, that's red, that looks pink. I might do that though. Uh, so there, that is just pink, but it's red. How much red do you need to be red? But well, that's just pink. <laughs> that's just pink. And that's like, that's just about red. Okay, I'm going to do all of these and then we we'll can spawn it in, have a look. Okay, let's see how they look. So we can do hob. <laughs> well, it's not that pink. It is just white though. When well, it's not on. That's quite cool. <laughs> then we turn the oven on. Oh, I've missed a couple of spots in there. Look. Yeah, but the hobs. Yeah, I like the hob. There's my battery. If you want it, the lights aren't connected to the battery, so that's why they're not working. But yeah, <laughs> that's kind of funny. 
It's completely useless. I'll probably... Uh, oh, these are quite big waves. What? Oh, this boat's going to glitch out. Let's put it in the workbench before. It literally freaks out. Uh, I probably need to put a, a roof on this now as well. It's a thousand pounds just to have a roof on it. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go for a little tanky mission. But we've already used 20 grand today. And what have we done? Painted a bit, added some lights. And we're going to spawn it in. Just check that everything is all good. I haven't missed any paint jobs, apart from in the tanks, which I will do. Uh, yeah, that, exactly. Exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, that's just an easy mistake. Yeah, it's an easy fix. Uh, I do quite like those. It's like it's got some sort of, I don't know, just add something to it. Uh, got my little grill and hob, the oven. I'm not, I, I don't like the fact that they leave it when it's not on just white. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all we've got time for for this episode. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!